It's time to take stock of making soup stock, and that's what we're going to do right now. So in order to make soup stock, you need stuff. And people always wonder, what is the stuff you need to make stock? And pretty much, it's whatever is good that you didn't use for other things. So you don't want to use things that you wouldn't put, eat or use in some way. So what I have here are a bunch of parsley stems. Uh, let's see, I've been saving this for a while now, and some onion. Just the inside of the onion, the pieces you're not going to use. Some ends of mushrooms. See, I have other things in here too uh, that I saved. Oh, this is a piece of escarole because I had that. This is the end of a potato. I have carrot ends. I have pieces of celery. And I have some parsnip in here. Now, I have my pot filled about one-third with stuff, all the ends and pieces and things that I've been saving. I take my pieces, I put them in a plastic bag, and I put them in the refrigerator, and I use them with about, within about four days. You can take the tops of leeks. You can take whatever the things you have are, except, this is a big except, no cruciferous vegetables. Let me give you an idea of what those are. No broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, kohlrabi, kale, collards, none of those things. Turnips, they do not go in your stock pot. And the reason is they have a lot of sulfurous compounds and they will make your stock taste and smell stinky. And you want to use it to make soup and to make things taste good. So don't put those things in your stock pot, put them in your compost pile. In addition to those, what I put in there, I'm going to put in a bay leaf. I'm going to put in a little bit of garlic because I had it left over. You could put in whole cloves of garlic. And I'm going to put in some peppercorns. The other ingredient that's very important is water. So I'm going to cover my stock ingredients with water. I'm actually going to put in quite a bit of water in there. I am going to lock the lid on my pressure cooker, turn the heat on, and bring it up to pressure. And the little yellow valve will pop up and I'll know that it's at pressure. Remember, if you're putting a lot of water into your pressure cooker, it will take quite a long time for it to come up to pressure. Once the pot comes up to pressure, I'm going to uh, let it stay on the pressure for five minutes. I'm going to turn off the heat and then I'm going to let it sit until the pressure comes down. You want to make sure that you strain your stock and get out all the ingredients that you had in there. I use the fresh stock that I make to cook vegetables. I add it when they're cooking if it needs some liquid. I use it a lot for soups. And if you make a big pot of stock, it's great. You don't have to buy prepared stock, which has a lot of sodium in it. If I make a big pot of stock like this, um, I might make five quarts. And what I'll do is I'll take it and I'll freeze it and I'll have it when I need stock. And it's more convenient than just pulling out a can or a box and it's not filled with salt will make your food taste great, so use great ingredients to make your stock.